Early voting, reaching for the wire. Epicenter closing on the inside. Early voting, Epicenter. Early voting comes inside and wins it. He wins the Preakness by election. Preakness winner Early Voting is special to Three Chimneys Farm for more reasons than one. Not only is he the first classic winner for their Sire Sensation Gunrunner, but he's also the first classic winner bred at Three Chimneys under its current ownership. We stopped by the farm to visit the dam of early voting as well as her latest bull, a filly from the first crop of grade one winner Volatile. So early voting is the first classic winner bred by Three Chimneys um, under the Tori Alba ownership and it's a significant achievement for the farm. It's what we get up for and what we strive to do every single day is to breed and raise, sell and race horses at the top level of the sport. So Amor Deite was purchased at the 2013 Keeneland September yearling sale for $1.75 million. It was a pretty heavy, hefty price tag, um, but given she was a big, pretty filly, half-sister to Spitestown, we also knew she had residual value as a broodmare. And um, unfortunately, she never made it to the races due to an injury, so she was integrated into our broodmare band in 2015. Early voting, uh, when he was born, uh, it was uh, a normal birth, average size foal. And I went and looked at everybody's notes that uh, had scored him as he developed. And um, he was always had positive comments. Uh, very, I think the nicest thing, you know, was that everybody had nothing negative to say about him. He was correct in his legs, his uh, good foot, and uh, just a, a really nice foal. So early voting sold in book two at the Keeneland September sale for 200,000 where he was just meeting his reserve. We were actually a little bit disappointed with the result. We had, high, we had valued him a little bit higher, but he did sell and luckily he caught the attention of Mike Ryan who purchased him and incorporated into, him into Chad Brown and Claire Vitch's program. And they have just done a phenomenal job with the cult. We couldn't be more pleased with Gunrunner's performance as a sire, having a champion two-year-old in your first crop, then going on to have a Preakness winner, five grade one winners. It's just exceptional what he's done. It won't come as a surprise that Amor Deite is going back to Gunrunner this year. She's in full to the stallion. She has a two-year-old uh, filly by Gunrunner, a full sister to early voting here on the farm. We also have a half-sister filly by Constitution who's pointing to the September sale and um, her lovely filly by Volatile that we're looking at today. Across the board, we're very pleased with Volatile's first crop of foals. Uh, we have an exceptional group here at Three Chimneys. They're gonna have a lot of commercial appeal and value. She's gorgeous, she's elegant. She has a beautiful head, has her mother's looks, and I expect that she'll probably grow up to have her mother's substance. Uh, her mother's an exceptional mare, and she's you know, such an elegant mare. She's so beautiful, and she has class, just true class. It's very fulfilling and special to have a Amor Deite, um, which is, you know, Mr. Toyaba acquired the farm back in 2013, so it was one of, you know, those first purchases and to have her go on, be bred to Gunrunner, who we co-campaigned with Winchell Thoroughbreds, have that produce a Preakness winner is very special for the farm. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like or a comment and subscribe to our channel for more content from the TDN.